Is the Survey Pirate app really an easy way to make some extra money or is it a waste of time? My name is Michael and I love testing different ways to earn some extra money and recently I came across this app so therefore I decided to test it and in this Survey Pirate app review I'll give you an inside look and show both the pros and the cons and then you can decide for yourself whether you should download this app or not. So before I log in and show you around, let's talk about who can join. And Survey Pirate, as far as I've been able to find out, is available in more or less all countries. You just need to be aware that it's only available on Android devices. So if you have an iOS device, you cannot use it to earn. Then I do have a video about the best apps on iOS devices to earn. Instead, I'll leave a link to that in the top corner. But let me now log in and then we can look into how you can actually earn, how you can get paid and how much you can earn so you can find out whether you should join or not. So I am now logged into Survey Pirate and I must say that it can be a little bit overwhelming at first because a lot is going on here on this screen. But if you just take a little bit of time, it's okay to figure out what's going on. So at the top here, they have like small one-time tasks. Uh, for example, share uh, your WhatsApp and then you'll earn 15 coins by sharing on WhatsApp. Uh, so, you know, you can share a link with others and tell them about it there. Uh, you can see there's share and messenger. There's like follow us on TikTok, follow us on Instagram, things like this here um, that, that you can like small one-time task. This is basically just to promote themselves. But, uh, you know, not something that I would participate in, but now you know what's going on there at the top. Other than that, then they just have down here, they have the different offers, the daily picks, and then some like different uh, providers of, of service and other ways. So uh, if you just start here by the service, then you can see that some of them are like a regular service, some are like kind of like a little bit of strange uh, uh, things that has nothing really to do with service. And also in the service section, you can see, for example, HBO Max, where you purchase an annual subscription and then you get some, some money back. So, you know, it's kind of mixed together with paid offers and surveys. Uh, there's a decent amount. I would just say that you know I've tested hundreds of different websites and apps like this, and and the rewards are lower than than the average rewards you can find on similar platforms, in my uh, personal opinion. But these are not the only ways to earn. You can also earn by playing games. So let's over so go over where you can find that and whether that's then worth it. So here at the top, you can see top providers and there's something called playtime offers. You can also uh, view more. And if you view more, you can see there's different also offer walls where you can sort it like that. Again, uh, many of these offer walls are on many other get paid to sites and apps and, and the rewards here, uh, not quite as good in, in my personal opinion. But anyways, uh, here, you can find these playtime offers and that means that you can then go here you can find different games that you can then download you just click to play now it will take you to the google play store you download it and then you'll start earning per minute you play usually you would then get these six coins per minute the first minute or so and then you would have to play longer and longer to get smaller and smaller rewards and in total by playing this for quite a while i could earn 406 coins we'll go over the value of these coins in just a little bit there but you can see there's quite a good a number of these different uh, games and usually when you download one or two then more will become available however i have also tested like a lot of different apps that offer these playtime rewards and considering the value of the coins here then the amount of time you would need to play these games to earn anything of value at all it's just really really low value for your time compared to most other playtime apps that i have tested so you know not an earning method as such that i would uh, recommend here then there just are other uh, ways that are better to earn by playing i do have a video about my top recommended ways to earn by playing i'll leave a link in the top corner so you can check that out but definitely not something i would do inside survey pirate but let's now then talk about how you can get paid and also the overall earning potential so when you go to the reward section, then you can see different options here. You can choose your location and I do like they have this option. So then you can see uh, what's available worldwide, Europe and in specific countries. And um, of course, in some countries, they have more options. For example, if we choose the US, you can see there's a PayPal cash that's available in all countries. But then also there are a lot of gift cards you can choose from. The exact payout threshold, you no, know, that depends on the gift card uh, and the reward. But one of the lowest is PayPal uh, is uh, will go over that in just a bit what it is but it can also vary from country to country and as you can see if we just choose uh, Brazil you can see that's uh, another kind of gift cards you can choose here uh, so overall some good 
payout options, uh, definitely in my opinion. But let's just look closer to PayPal because if we click here, you can see then I would need to earn this many coins, like 4,200 to earn three dollars so to get three dollars paid out and this amount to five dollars so you get better value for your time if you wait to withdraw until you've earned more but the conversion ratio is also for that reason quite confusing and it can be difficult to figure out exactly uh, what the coins are worth because it varies on the country you live in it varies uh, depending on the payout option and, or, and uh, when you take out and all that but the most you would get out of it of course if you wait until you've earned a hundred dollars but that will take a lot of patience let me just reveal that right away plus you need to be aware that there is a fee as you can see down here when you withdraw via paper but as you can also figure out for example if you see an offer something that gives you like 15 coins or even 100 coins or so it's like it's it's not a lot so you just need to be aware of that but some of the surveys uh, and offers they do pay decently uh, so if you just choose wisely you can fairly quickly reach the payout threshold but let's talk about overall how much you can expect to earn before deciding whether you should download this app or not. So inside the app, they also have a leaderboard. And uh, contrary to many other leaderboards I've seen on, on other get paid to sites and apps, then you don't get a reward here. Many platforms have this leaderboard where if you end up in the top uh, 5, 10, 50, sometimes within a week or a month or so, then you will get a reward. That's not the case here. but. The reason I'm here is because it gives an idea about the overall earning potential, just not based on my experience, but also on data from the app itself. And if we now here, we are on all time. And I do like that they actually also have this option where you can choose like the country. So you can see, for example, like worldwide, uh, all time, uh, what is uh, the person that has earned the most? You can see 262,000 coins. But considering, uh, you know, that, that you would need to roughly a thousand coins uh, to to earn one dollar uh, this is equivalent of only 262 uh, dollars so uh, you know still not a lot as a top earner we're talking all time here worldwide we're not talking about in a month or something like that so that shows that the earning potential is not that great and we can also look more into it if we go into like the last 30 days worldwide you see here uh, 41 so you know something like uh, 40 to 45 dollars or something like that uh, but you can also see where the country uh, like the person are from so uh, where it seems like people can earn the most from so that's i i do like that they have this because it's quite transparent but in a month if the top earner in a month and the the time of recording this video we are kind of getting closer to the end of the month so that means that you know maybe the top earner would earn like 50 dollars in a month or so it's not a lot compared to what the earning potential on many other get paid to sites and service sites are. But it definitely can be a way to earn some extra money if you just do it with the right expectations and are willing to put in quite a bit of effort. So to sum it all up, Survey Pirate can be an app to earn some extra money. It's not super user friendly in my personal opinion compared to many other platforms and apps I have tested, but it does have many different ways to earn. The rewards are not the best. They are okay, you know, in many cases, a little bit below average in my personal experience, but this can also vary depending on the country you live in. But overall, compared to many other survey apps, for example, the rewards are just not quite as high and the user friendliness is not quite as good. It has potential, I would say, and it can be a way to earn. It's just not one of my favorites. And when there are like hundreds of apps and websites to choose from i just personally prefer to just focus on the absolute best ones and if you want to see my top recommended survey apps i do have a list of those on my website i'll leave a link to that below but no matter what i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time i release a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online